All right, today I am doing an interesting quest, and I'm doing the potato snatcher quest because I want to find out if it makes, if it's gonna make one of the worst quest lists that I'm that I just did. That just came out. The the video I did that just came out. I'm doing a I'm doing a video on that, the potato snatcher. I don't know if it's actually in the in the list. That's why I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out if this quest is bad. I've heard some people say it's good. Honestly, I've never actually played it, which is kind of surprising. You think I would have played something like that, but I didn't. Okay, I think it. I looked it up, and I believe it's around here. I'm gonna assume that this must be it, because it's an inn we have to go to. The Falgor- Falgorill Inn? Maybe? That might be it. I don't know. I think this is right in. I didn't- I didn't check. I just went inside. Um, we're looking- Hello. We're looking for- this person? Can you help me find my lost Jumbo Potatoes? Oh, yeah. Jumbo Potatoes? Please, you must help me find them. If I don't have them for the next batch of my famous potato bread, I don't know what I'll do. Right. Um, How stupid I was to leave them outside all alone like that. All I wanted to do was give them some sun. Next thing I knew, they were gone. Well, where do you usually leave your potatoes? I saw someone running off to the west, but I'm too frightened to journey into the woods alone. Please, can you help me? I'll pay you well, I swear. Um, I guess I don't have- I don't have a choice in the matter, I'm just forced to accept. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this thing says. I met a strange kitty named blah blah. Apparently she uses them to make her potato bread, which sounds great. I want some potato bread. She said they were huge and headed west. Right. Okay, so it looks like we need to head this way. Is this- is this where she lives? Is this where she grows her potatoes? Because I don't see a very good- I don't see a very good garden around here. I can't see any good spot. I mean, look at that soil. That soil looks like crap. Definitely can grow good potatoes and that kind of stuff. I mean, look how look how spread out the trees are. That's because the soil is such crap. You can't grow good potatoes around here. Well, it's got to be. She got. She has, must have a garden somewhere else. Is this is this the guy I'm looking for? Well, the quest marker is pointing me to this guy. Okay, so I guess we have to kill him. All right, let's take this son of a gun down. Oh God! Ouch! <laughs> I forgot I had God Mode enabled. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. Right, well, it's now disabled, and he didn't even get a hit on me anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Jumbo Potato. Six of them. Is that the whole quest? I've encountered an ogre out in the wilderness. This seems to be Sajira's thief, as he was carrying her Jumbo Potatoes. Right. Is that the- is that the whole quest? Alright, so I guess we should head back to Sajira. Um, actually, you know what? I want to see how big these potatoes are before- before I give them to her. Are they actually big, or are they just called Jumbo? Oh, I can't remove them. Oh, you freaking Hi. sons Hi. of- sons Good of bitches! That's so stupid! So you can't prove east, that they're big. The they only just say they're the Jumbo. Oh, you lazy developers. You Go lazy on. sons of guns. Alright, let's you talk to her. Them. You have them. I can sense they're with you. You can sense- be, be, what? Jumbo potatoes. Oh my goodness, you found them. Oh, I could kiss you. Please don't. As promised, I owe you a reward for your efforts. I present you with my first batch of famous potato bread. More valuable than gold. Enjoy. Uh-huh. Maybe more valuable than one gold. Safe journey oh, she gave me you. three of them. Huh, okay. That was the whole quest. That was it. Wow. That was a... Short quest. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Despite the fact of how stupid it is, you can't drop the potatoes. How are you? I don't. I don't think it's gonna make the list. I don't. I don't think it is. But first, let's take a look at this potato bread. Okay, Sajira's famous potato bread. Detect life and restore health. That's and two unknown effects. What if I drop one of them? Is it, is the potato bread big? No, it's just a just a regular loaf of bread. Can I get any more jumbo potatoes from her? Well are you here to visit me and perhaps potato would you like to buy no i'm listening okay so i can't buy any jumbo potatoes Safe okay so that was a short quest so um i'm actually gonna do a second one because i have another one on my list that maybe might make the list of bad quests um not uh let's see where where is it what am i looking for oh yeah i'm go i need to go to leia win and i need to go to the mages guild so let's head down that way Where's the Mage's Guild? I don't really remember. Somewhere around here, probably. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, we need to head to the Mage's Guild right here. We need to talk to a guy named, uh, Sid, Sid, Sidara, Sidrasa. I don't remember. Similar to the other one we just talked to. 
I believe it's another Khajiit. Right. This guy? Well, yes, yeah, address. Have you already considered? Duh. Um, I guess so. I guess I already Wonderful. talked to you at one point. I had a good feeling about you from the moment that I saw you. Right. I want you to bring me as many of Garidan's tears as you can find. Yeah, okay, so this is the if right you quest. Do, I will pay you a fair bounty in gold for each one. Right? I confess, I have a weakness for crystals of a magical nature, and I must add these to my collection. This is a personal errand, you must understand, just between you and I. The Mage's Guild has nothing to do with it. Well, that sounds suspicious. Okay, Garen's Tears. The tears are not just a namesake. They're literally the frozen tears of a knight named Garadan Staurus, Gra who wow. lived many years ago. I'm not certain what happened to the knight, or why the tears were frozen, but I do know someone you could ask. Okay, great. Who do I need to ask? Seek out Juliana Fanis at the Arcane University in the Imperial City. She oversees the Alchemy Headquarters there. If anyone can help you get more information about these crystals, she can. Okay, so I guess... Bring my salutations to Giuliani. Safe journey to you. Yep, right, thanks. Okay, so... Salutations! No, shut up! So I guess we need to head to Giuliani, which is... I don't remember where she said she was. That's not the right quest. That's the Clavicus Vile quest. Um, Imperial City, the Arcane University. Right, so that's where we need to head to. Uh, oh, okay, here, this is Juliana. What can I help you with? Garridan's Tears. Do you want the first person to go looking for those? Quite a remarkable story, really. I know a bit about it. Yeah, great. Okay, uh, I guess I wish to hear it. Certainly. Garridan was a knight who lorded over a small village of peaceful farmers. Yep. One harvest summer, there was a horrible drought. The farmers appealed to Garridan to discover a solution. He spent a week consulting with sages, until one of them mentioned a possibility. Right. The sage told him of an artifact called the Everflow Ewer. The vessel, which looked like a silver pitcher, was said to supply endless water. That's pretty good. Amazing. Yes, indeed. Legend has it that Garadan found the Ewer, and that it was guarded by a fearsome creature. It is also said that the creature froze him. Wow. When Garridan realized his quest was a failure, and he wouldn't be able to return and save the farmers, he began to shed some tears. <laughs> okay. As the ice enveloped him, some of his tears were frozen as well. Some even say that the divine, Mara, took pity on the poor knight. To commemorate his kind heart, she imbued the tears with some sort of magical power. That's only rumor, though. You know, if you're really interested in more, there's a book I read once called Nightfall. It may have more about Garadan. Where can I find this book? I think I saw a copy last time I was at the first edition bookshop in the Market District. Yeah, great. I kind of wish you'd just mention that to begin with, but whatever. Please visit me again any time. I'm glad to help. Give Sadrasa my regards. Uh -huh. I'm okay. listening. Yep. I don't think I'm going to be visiting you any anytime soon with your boring stories. You should stick to whatever it is you already do. You should not be a storyteller, Speak. okay? I do not recommend it. Okay, so we need to head to the f what? Why am I going here? I thought I was going to the first edition. I need to go to the I don't I need to go to the first edition quest marker. Don't take me to the Tiber Septum Hotel. That's the wrong location. All right, so the first edition is right over here. All right, we're inside the first edition. Phidias, what's day. up? I need a, I need a book. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Um, Nightfall. That's the one I'm looking for. Nightfall. Where is it? I don't see it. Starts with a K. There it is. Okay. 47 gold. Jesus. I purchased Nightfall from Phidias at the first edition bookshop in the Market District. I should read it to find out more about Garridan's Tears. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. Good day. Well, Jesus, the guy's such a fussy one. Okay, so we need to find this stupid book, which is... There it is. Okay, Nightfall. Nightfall tells the tale of Garadin and the quest for the Everflow, Everflow Ewer at a place known as Frostfire Glade, 
Well, that's convenient. It is supposedly located in the mountains near Bruma. Using some of the references from the story, I was able to pinpoint it on my map. The book also mentions needing special refined frost salt to get into the glade. I should speak to Julianne Fannis about this. Right. Special refined frost salts. Also, I just said I was never going to talk to that lady again, so I mean, I guess I'm going back on my word. I gotta say, so far this quest doesn't seem too- seem too terrible. I haven't- I haven't done Welcome it back to the university. in a while. Anything else I can help with? Garadin's tears. I wish I could tell you more about them, but that's all I remember from- Oh gosh, shut up. No, refined frost salts. Yes, I have them for sale. Well, that's really convenient. If you'd like to buy some, feel free. They're top quality. I refined them myself. That's- that's- that's I have really weirdly convenient. Every... Thanks, lady. I guess- Sure, whatever, I'll buy 370 gold worth of frost salts. I've acquired- I've acquired refined frost salts from Julianne. I should now make my way to Frostfire Glade. Probably only needed- if you uh, Probably only needed one, but whatever. I don't know what she was about to tell me, but I'm not interested. Okay, Frostfire Glade. I guess we should head to Frostcrag Spire and then- Then get down there that way. Come with me, Shadowmere. What's- We need to go to the Glade of Frostfire. <laughs> Away, horse. Down this mountain. Yeah, I get it. You're it's you can you can handle yourself. Just just suck it up, okay? Oh, Shadowmere's unconscious. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Shadowmere. But fortunately You come back to life, right? Yeah, the, oh my god, what the <laughs> Okay, so I think oh my god, it's a bear. Shadowmere, you I'm stuck on you. Whatever. You you just do what you need to do, Shadowmere. I gotta I gotta go to Frostfire, okay? I gotta take care of my own business. I don't have time. Red Ruby Cave. Oh, this sounds even better. I go for some red rubies. Okay, so I guess this is Frostfire Glade. Frostfire Cave. Alright, let's head on inside. Um, oh, there's a wolf. Oh my god, that's a freak. Oh, that's because I'm using the wrong spell. There we go. There, that took care of that stupid wolf. Enemies are nearby. Stupid enemies. Get out of here. I'm sick of you being nearby me. I've had enough of it. Okay, so this must be the- I've arrived at the entrance to Frost, Frostfire Glade. Look at- Like the book describes, the refined frost salts are in my hand. All I must do is open the seal by touching it. Okay. That's an interesting door. That's kind of neat. Alright, let's head on inside. I've entered Frostfire Glade. The entire area seems to be filled with a swirling, freezing mist. The extreme cold in this place is unbearable. Without magical protection, the glade is true to its namesake. The frost burns as if it was fire. I should now carefully begin searching for it for Garridan's tears. Okay, so... Mention, mention magical protection. Maybe I should throw something on that will protect me magically. Yeah, this gives me resist frost 10%. I mean, that's something. That's better than nothing. That's ten more percent than I had a second ago. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Great. Okay, well I had to I had to go back to I had to remove the ten percent frost because I couldn't I can move I can walk. Ouch! Jesus! Oh, it must be oh it's because I'm taking frost damage. Oh, good. Oh, and there's a there's a frost atronach over there, so that's even better. Let's see if I can see if I can take this guy out. Ouch! It's really hurting. That's not that is not nice at all. Oh God. Dude, cut it out! There we go. Okay, so this guy's a this guy's dead. Take its frost salts. Why not? Frostfire Atronaut Glade Warden. Oh, you know what? I wonder if frost salts frost salts make me immune to frost. Okay, so refined fr refined frost salts give me frost shield. And that one does frost damage. Right, that makes tons of sense. You cannot eat quest items. No. For some reason, frost salts make you resist fire. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But sure, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. In the center of Frostfire Glade, I've discovered an astonishing sight. Garadin himself locked in an eternal frozen struggle with a huge frost atronach. It appears that Garadin had dropped his weapon and was using the ewer to protect himself. The atronach smashed the ewer, which must have reacted with the magical waters and froze everything solid. A sad end for such a noble knight. Wow, this is just like that book, Cat's Cradle, I think it was. I think that was the book that I read. Pre, this is a pretty okay book. I remember really liking it. I don't know if I would like it anymore. Oh, okay, so here's a tear. Garden's tear. Looks weird. I found one of Garden's tears. I should continue searching as there may be more. I think there's like five of these things. 
I don't know where they are. I don't know if they're supposed to be all down here. There's one of them. Okay, I don't see any more. Are, they, are there any over here? Also, where is this place? Am I, am I just, was I teleported to a different place? Because this definitely wasn't in the center. No, loading area. This definitely wasn't in the center of, of Cyrodiil, if you know what I mean. I wonder if I can get up this right here. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll see the rest of, the rest of Cyrodiil. Oh, I can get up right here. Oh, can I? Yes, I can. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we're not in Cyrodiil anymore. I don't know where we are. Um. Oh, God. It's just a big empty plane. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> really? Really? Are you kidding me, Oblivion developers? You made it so I could get up to the side and see this big empty vastness. Oh, there's a drop. There's a, there's a drop right here. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to save real quick. Um, and let's see what's down there. Ow! Oh, I died. Can I get down there without dying? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yep. And we're down. Okay, great. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. And, and water. Oh, wow. Just a freaking ocean of water. And you can see... <laughs> I gotta do that again. Uh, yep. Okay, so, there's the land, and I'm on the land. Right. Okay, sure. Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. Wow, I can see through the water there. That's something. That's something new. That's something you don't see every day. What's that over there? Is that more land? Is that just nothing? I gotta get to that spot. Maybe that just wasn't loaded. Oh yeah, I can see it. I can see it. What is this? It's, uh, it's a void! Shadowmere has returned to Fort Farragut. Okay. This is really weird, honestly. It's kind of creepy. Wow. Well, that's something you don't see every day. I think I've, I think I've, I think I know what's making the list. I think I know what's made it. Okay, so let's load back to this because, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get back any other way. Right, so let's go, let's go finish this quest. Oh god, this is, this is the worst. I've never seen a quest that you can, you can just get out of like that. But I mean, I usually don't try too hard, but I mean, to be fair, I didn't even try that hard with this one. I just climbed a wall. I just climbed the side of the, side of the mountain. Right, well, ouch. Oh yeah. Okay, so I didn't see any Garadin's Tears out there. I'm wondering if they're all in, in this area? I don't remember, honestly. And I didn't look it up because I, I wanted to be a surprise. I wanted to feel the pain. Because this was- this part is supposed to be the most annoying part of the quest. This is pro- this is- oh, there's one. Okay. So how many is that? Three, I think? Where could they be? Oh my god. Is that one? Oh yeah, that's one right there. Oh crap, I gotta heal up. I have to admit, that's pretty annoying. That is- that's kind of irritating. Oh my god, I don't see any more. Maybe, maybe they're not all here. That'd be really annoying, because, I mean, look at that. That's just nothing. I, it could be anywhere over there. Who knows where they are? I don't freaking know. I, how many are there? Six? Five? Six? I think it's six. Which means I have to find three more. Oh my god. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I found, okay, never mind. I found them all. I found the fifth and final one of Garadin's Tears. I can now return to Sadrasa and Leowen to get my hard-earned work. And I don't, I don't think I can travel out of this place. Yeah, no, I can't fast travel out of here. Okay, so let's head back to this stupid door. Now we need to head to... Head on out of this stupid cave. Okay, so now we're out of that dumb cave. I mean, okay, I just want to take a quick look. Oh, there's a dumb wolf. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, so I don't know where this... Yeah, I don't, I don't see any place where this glade could exist. I mean, I just came down from that mountain, so it's not that way, and I don't see any other area where a glade could exist this way. <coughs> oh, and I died. Right. Great. Uh, okay. I just went to the grocery store, and now I'm back, so now we need to... Uh, what do we need to do? I don't ah. even remember. I ran off. Oh, that's right, that's how... That, I died, and I died because I was doing stupid crap like that. Okay, so we're almost done with this quest. We just have to bring these tears back to... Sidrasa, Sidrissa, to, to a Khajiit mage with a brown robe. 
Just, we just have to bring it to that guy and we're all set. We can be done with this. I can move on with my life. I can finish this script. Where am I going? I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just wandering. Here we go. Hey, that you no, you know who I'm looking for? This guy. You're still standing right there in You're the same back. spot. Yep, I'm back. You look like you've seen some travel. Yes. Uh, okay, Garrett's tears. You found five of the tears. Fantastic. This turned out better than I expected. Perhaps a little bit of a bonus is in order. Oh wow. Twelve hundred golds. Golds. Five Garrett and tears removed. Quest complete. Great. Is that it? That's all it is? Drasa of the Major's Guild, evoker and alchemist, and also in his scant free time, a trainer in alchemy. Are you talking to me like, like you haven't met me before? They're the pride of my collection. Beautiful. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Okay. Um, there you go. Oh, that's, you. Thanks. Farewell. that's how I try and find out which ones are the... The worst. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys on uh, Saturday when I will be doing another video that you, you probably will enjoy. So I'll see you guys then. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already for some reason. And uh, also, goodbye.